Hey guys, Eddie Tobias here with John Reich, uh, Pixar FX supervisor on The Good Dinosaur, um, which is coming out in theaters November 25th. That's right. So, um, just gave a great presentation to the students here at the Art Institute of Austin. Thank you so much for taking time. Yeah, really glad to be here. Yeah, um, just had a couple questions for you. Sure. So, um, first one is, what's the work environment like at Pixar? You know, I mean, Pixar is such a collaborative place, right? And it's really important. One of the messages I really want to convey to students is that you have to work together. I mean, no one person at Pixar knows how to do everything, knows the whole pipeline. Uh, it's really just based around a team and working together and, you know, working even between the departments as well. So, you know, students really, like, get out there, make sure that you're getting your peers involved and critiquing and looking at your work. Always try to seek out, you know, critique as much as you can. That's just really part of our daily process and how we make the films as good as they are. Awesome. That segues into my second question right, about sure. critique. So, uh, yeah. at what point in your career did you see, see yourself as a successful artist based off of the critique you were getting and then yeah. getting work into, into Pixar? You know, that is such a tough question. I think every artist sort of struggles a little bit with sort of that feeling of like, am I, am I really doing enough or am I really doing the right thing? And so, you know, uh, I don't know if there was ever one point in time, but, um, you know, certainly I think after working at Pixar for 11 years, you know, I feel pretty comfortable in, in what my abilities are and what I can kind of bring visually to the screen. So, um, but you know, like, like I said, a big part of that, even in my undergraduate was going through some really, really brutal critiques and, and just learning how to accept that and understanding, you know, as part of a filmmaking team, really it's not about sort of your just individual goal for what you have in mind for one of your shots. It's really about how it fits into the story overall, sort of always looking at your work in context of where it fits into the storytelling and really making sure that the storytelling is the thing that we're focused on and, and that's what's coming through. Even if it means that your work gets, you know, kind of playing a back seat. Yeah. So. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, a uh, third question I have for you. Sure. Um, so, what was your networking process like going from straight out? You said you went to Texas A&M. That's right. Um, so, going first job out of Texas A&M to now doing the effects supervision yeah. at Pixar. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, networking is definitely an important thing. I mean, it's it's really tough. And I remember, you know, for myself too. You know, being in Texas, it, was, it always felt like, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of opportunity to do some of the networking I wanted to do. One of the great ways to do that is at SIGGRAPH, which is one of the big um, 3D animation conferences. It takes place every year. Um, usually it's in LA or sometimes it's in Vancouver um, but if you can get out there that's definitely one of the things I did even before I was at uh, the graduate program that I came out of at a &M. Uh, and it's a great way just to get a pulse on sort of you know what's going on in the industry um, there's a you know, few other uh, you know conferences like that you know if you can find those places where there's a lot of those people who are in the industry you want to get to uh, there at the same time in the same place I mean it's just a great opportunity to uh, to kind of understand you know what their process was too so. awesome uh, any kind of last bit of gem of advice for students getting out there you know getting their foot through the door or anything like that yeah you know I mean it's so competitive a lot of it is about timing right so you know it doesn't necessarily mean if you get rejected that your work isn't up to snuff or it's not the right kind of thing keep trying like keep trying I, I got rejected the first time I applied to Pixar I've been there for 11 years now so I'm definitely a success story that way uh, I would definitely pass that word along to everyone else Thank you so much for your time, John. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Don't forget to uh, check out the Good Dinosaur in theaters November 25th.